Hi, Judy from Witch Peace Craft. Welcome to today's Yarn Adventures, the week that was. What did I get up to last week? Yes, I am a little late um, due to being exhausted from the charity market stall I had. However, let's get started on my yarn adventures for last week. So I have some finished object, a finished object, some Happy Mail stroke acquisitions and a few other things to talk about. My finished object, well, he's not here. He's gone to a good home. I made a Minecraft creeper following the Jada in Stitches tutorial. Now remember guys, all the tutorials, patterns, channels I mentioned, their links will be in the description below if you want to check them out. Yes, I followed that and made the Minecraft Creeper. I actually put him on my, it was for Amigurumi Wars. I did take a photo of him, so there'll be a photo at the end. I put him on my market stall to sell and it was the very first thing I sold on the day. So yes, very much loved. May have to make some more. Other finished objects, well nothing really, other than I did lots of tea towel toppers, which I've shown you before because they are my number one seller and I didn't sell out which is amazing but foot traffic was a little slow but tea towel toppers my Minecraft creeper and a bit of work on my advent project at the shawl was about all the crafting I could fit in because life got in the way work home everything I was just extremely busy and I am still a little tired but I will get there so Happy Mail Acquisitions. Well, this one arrived at some time last week and um, I just was too busy to talk about it. And I have actually opened it because I was so excited to get it. It took a month to get from WA, the other side of the country, to me due to flooding, derailment, all that. It just, mail is just taking forever. So... For those of you who've been following me for a while, you might remember that Sue's from Nifty Knits and Crochet, yes, she has a YouTube channel, sent me a gift of a project bag, a large project bag with black faced sheep on it. And it was awesome. I just love it. Right now, my advent project is living in that bag. I asked her via email communication that if she ever came across polar bear material would she make me one and she did find material and I commissioned her to make me one and it arrived last week I love it this is and I'll take it out of the plastic my new project bag from Sue's at Nifty Knits and Stitches Ta -da! there you go and there is also with it, I didn't notice that when I opened it, a stitch marker. Where's my glasses? That looks like a little flower stitch marker. There you go. That is awesome. I don't know if you can see that. I haven't got the dexterity to undo it. But this is my polar bear project bag I, uh, I commissioned her to make. It, she makes beautiful bags and I really love this because if you've been following me for a while and subscribed, you know how much I love polar bears. She had a couple of different fabrics, but this was the one I chose. It is awesome. Um, so besides having the um, YouTube channel um, Nifty Stitch Knits and Crochet, she also has an Etsy shop, Nifty Stitches, Nifty Knits, I've written it down, Nifty Knits WA. They'll be in the description below the links. Please check out her YouTube channel. Give her some support. She's got 30 subscribers at the moment. It would be great to see her reach 100 by the new year. Also, if you could check out her Etsy shop, and favorite her shop like some of the items it helps with the algorithms and getting her profile of the Etsy shop lifted so she can sell more but yes this is absolutely beautiful to the point where she's perfectly matched the seam down the back to get the fabric it's 
lined it's got zipper pocket inside it's got a square bottom it's got three little pockets on the side look at the lining <laughs> it's even got polar bears on the inside this is awesome i love it thank you Suze. it's just absolutely beautiful more than i expected and i love the fact you put a little stitch marker with it or progress keeper stitch marker it's beautiful so that was my first acquisition now i actually bought some yarn yes i wasn't going to but over the past year or so i've been collecting some minis mini skeins of yarns like 20 gram 10 gram and doing my advent project i really do like them and i worked out i had this many i don't know how many is in there one two three four five six seven eight nine minis in variety of colors and flex and textures and plain and tonal and i was looking online to um get some more to do another project whether i do it soon or next year or it's my next year's advent i don't know but i found this place in tasmania called wattle wattle bird yarn and they're in latrobe latrobe tasmania that's the little island off australia <laughs> and is part of australia it arrived today and they were the five colors i bought which i thought would brighten my um current minis up to make a project so yes i quite like those they have like two four five she does sells different sets like five or six depending on what you want but yeah i'll put a link to her i don't know if it was etsy or website but i'll find her and put a link i'm sure there's a card in there yeah it's merino wool 25 percent nylon 400 a four ply fingering weight yarn 20 grams 80 meters in a in a skein wattlebirdyarns.com i think it was a website but they arrived today which was lovely also arriving was an etsy um, sale i had made return to sender yes the address was right i checked it went to the right address but for some reason it's been returned i'm waiting for the lady to get back to me as to why as to whether she moved since she bought it or has she not updated her etsy details um, first time I've ever had one return from Etsy. So that was my acquisitions. Um, not a lot, but I am trying to restrict the amount of yarn I buy. I need to clear some of the yarn I have. Um, market day. So Sunday was the big market day that I'd done a lot of prep for, a lot of making for, only to have another charity a national charity hold a market in air conditioning pavilion undercover and then there was another market someone decided to have in the southern suburbs so we were competing with two other markets food traffic was a lot less but it was definitely better sales than last month but no records broken um, the guy who's on my left at the markets who sells earrings and eco stuff his wife was also at the pavilion markets with stuff um it's their business they go to every market and do everything apparently she rang and said it was absolutely flat strap over there um he said to me at the end of it he did okay but it was nothing to write home about and the lady this side of me who makes the beautiful baby clothes had a terrible day she said it was just shocking she's not sure um, she'll do next year there if they're going to keep having other markets around town it's not worth her traveling because it's also her business so business this side a business that side and I just do it for charity but we did make reasonable sales of course my tea towel toppers are the number one seller but this time I had so many I didn't sell out I have a few left which is fine because two of them 
will be used as Christmas gifts for somebody, you know, like you have little Christmas gifts for people you think I should give them a gift. And I need four, so I already have two ready, which are Christmas tea towels, and I'll do another two and I'll give the four people a um, tea towel. They're still new, I just didn't sell them. Um, one of the other things I sold was lovies, they always seem to be popular, and the spa set sent to me by Karen Wright, they went really well. Um, I may not have priced them enough. No one really quibbled about the price. I probably could have sell, sold them for a few dollars more than I did. But it was still good to see them go. And I did take a risk with the grey set. I put a, um, a, a male block of charcoal soap, um, which was very lowly perfumed in it. And a lady bought it for a teenage son who wants on his wish list a bathroom kit. He, she said he's having real skin issues. And she thought it was a great idea. She would put that in his bathroom kit. So that was nice to know. I also had a few people take business cards. A visitor from Noosa, which is much further south, asking me that if she um, emails me and tells me what tea towels, number of tea towels she wants, would I make them? And I said to her, as long as it's less than 10, because I'm not a production line. And she's prepared to pay postage. And another lady took a business card because she's chasing ponchos for winter and she wanted me to check out what yarns and things I have and she's going to email me and I'm to send her pictures of the yarn. Which is really great that people are starting to ask me for stuff rather than have a lot of stuff made. I did sell, you know, optos and lots of little different things. And we did make a bit of money for Emma's Quest, which is really great, which is what it was all about. Um, and I am planning to that we don't have a community market in January. Too wet, too hot, everybody's too tired after Christmas. The first one is February, and I don't usually do that one. I usually do March, but I may do February depending on the weather. If it's really wet and hot, I won't be doing it because it's not worth me trying to sell um, knitted goods when it's damp they get ruined but the weather was really hot it was 35 celsius which is around 95 fahrenheit it was about 92 or 90 percent humidity i did have my fan and we did because we're a seaside market we did get a sea breeze in the afternoon but it was the moving around the humidity the lady next to me this side with the baby clothes she hadn't really brought enough water um because there isn't water down there to drink and stuff and i um well i am really fortunate both boys helped me set up and pack up and things still came down at 10 o'clock to give me a break and he brought extra cold water down which i shared with her and i did ring him and say can you throw a damp face washer in the freezer and wrap it around one of those ice bricks we have and bring it down for her because I think the heat was really knocking her and she was grateful and it's nice to help your fellow market store holders out so yeah it was hot and it, I guess for her not making many sales it also made the day drag so the market stalls Emma is currently in Sydney um, having special physio that she's not available here um her, omi her grandmother has arrived from germany the photos i'm seeing is they're having lots of fun the physio it leaves her pain uh, gives her a lot of pain and leaves her exhausted but she is checking out every christmas tree in sydney emma has a fascination and a passion for seeing christmas trees she doesn't want to see santa she wants to see the trees so if i can find a photo of her with a tree down there i'll put it at the end of this video just so you can see the big smile on her face considering how dorian tells me how painful the physio is yes my boys were a big help reeves cooked dinner he um i made a curry with the paste that emma and dorian gave me for christmas um, that I'd never tried before. It was tasty, um, a lot of tamarind flavour, which means it's a bit sour, but it was really quite nice. And the best thing was I didn't have to cook. It was done for me and they cleaned up because they knew how tired I was. 
that's my rant about the markets. We will do another one. I, I may make another creeper. Um, the Jada in Stitches Creeper was a lot of sewing, a lot of small pieces sewing together. It looked pretty good, but um, there is another tutorial by Tiffany Hansen. I may try that one out and see how I go. But that was my first Amigurumi War project finished for December. I have a couple more on the go. I hope to get finished. And next year, I will be hosting a month for the Amigurumi Wars. I'll put a link to YOH Crochet Anita so you can check out the Amigurumi Wars, um, what it's all about. And yes, please join us. It's a lot of fun. Um, Amigurumi was something I always struggle with and I believe I am getting better at it. Not perfect, but getting better. And kids seem to like what I make and buy them. Um, what else was there? So not much really. I'm going to be doing a bit of knitting, um, especially on my Advent project. I'm probably up to, I think I may have mentioned, day six as far as knitting it. I've, and I'm way behind in days, but I hope to catch up. And um, I think tomorrow I do an Advent opening, so I'll show you the progress on that and um, show you how I've changed things up a bit and see what you think. I'm really loving it. I, I don't know. My Yarny Corner, Alex and Danny get a big thumbs up for me for their advent calendar. The thought they put into it, the way they did it, everything is just 10 out of 10 from me. I love it. Um, I may not necessarily enjoy the, the way my pattern is going, but that was my choice. And yeah, I just love it. I don't know. I can't wait to come home and knit a bit of it at night. Um, I have been what else have I been doing today I am finishing up a few whips for December cows I have a tea cozy on the go for Zeta's um, calendar cow for December that's nearly finished uh, another amigurumi for amigurumi wars and um, something for um, charm Grammy Lynette's December calendar which is a bag I'm working on that I'm hoping to have those three finished um, the amigurumi and the bag are crocheted so they go really quickly um, so yeah and my tea cozy is knitted but I'm doing a small one not a big one so that won't take me long either um, the other thing I am doing is I am sorting through my whips as it is towards the end of the year and the pile has grown and it's whether I'm going to finish them or not and I've been inspired by a new podcaster I've come across, referred from someone else, and it is Recreational Knitting. Oh, I have, I'm hopeless today. Recreational Knitting Podcast. Now, she is having a make-along starting January the 1st, and it is Whip B, letter B, Gone 23. So basically, as long as it's on your needles, um, before December the 31st you have from January the 1st to February the 28th to finish it and post pictures I think she's only doing them through a Ravelry uh, finished objects link but you can check out a video go over and check out a channel she's trying to get to 750 subscribers she is so, so close it's ridiculous and yes um, lives in an RV does lots of beautiful knitting um, interesting channel and it's one I've caught up with this week in 2023 I am going to try and um, shout out my, more channels that are smaller and that I've been watching that are struggling to get back on their feet or move forward um, which brings me to Abby at Blue Heart Crochet I did post in the Facebook group her video her channel was hacked she was, when I last saw her, she was at 660 subscribers and was hacked and lost everything. She has started again. I think today when I was watching, she was about back up to 239. So if you haven't heard, Blue Heart Crochet has had to reestablish. So if you can go back, if you were subscribed to her, please subscribe. Um, let's get her back up to where she was. It was really unfair to lose everything. 
and yeah she's a lovely girl she's doing vlogmas she's also doing the same yarn event as me but she's opening it daily on vlogmas um she had snow i got to see snow so did alex at my yarning corner snow i love snow doesn't happen in the tropics if it did we'd freak out so guys that was it for me for the week yes i am still tired because work is busy um thing is back is much better he's doing a lot more around the place but he's having to be careful um, he's back to being sous chef. He's out there prepping vegetables for dinner, which is great. I just have to go out there and cook it all and put it together. His actual repertoire of meals, he has five on his list. That's about all he can do. And tomorrow night, I think he's, um, he said to me, do you want me to cook tomorrow night? Just pick one of the meals I can do. So tonight I'll think about what we'll feel like tomorrow and which one he can cook. He doesn't have a big repertoire he's not a great cook but the ones he ha can do he does really well so what have you been up to guys are you gift knitting i don't gift knit um other than tea towels or tea towel toppers or this bag i'm making if this bag turns out really well it may be a gift a gift crochet for next year because i think it'll make a nice gift but um, beanies and scarves and mittens and things, well, when it's 35 Celsius, no one really wants to see them. <laughs> but yes, um, things like spa sets that Karen sent me. Um, and don't forget, check out Karen's Etsy shop, Building Blessing, Blessings. Um, all of those things are, are perf perfect gift knits. But I don't have a lot that I gift knit for. And my family in the WA, we've always had this tradition where we send a Christmas ornament. Because we're such a big family, um, it's too expensive to buy gifts and send them everywhere. Um, so you pick a unique, uh, prob probably a best is a handmade Christmas ornament. And you send one to each family and it, they put it on their tree. So yeah, um, it's always fun to get those and I will be talking to my son in London in the next day or so so we can work out what he's up to for Christmas this year and when we will video link and catch up that's me what are you gift knitting let me know in the comments below and yes don't forget to check out Sue's at Nifty Knit and Crochet on YouTube and Nifty Knits WA on Etsy this is an absolute awesome bag, a beautiful size and well worth it. So until next time from me, stay safe, stay well and make sure you have a crafty day. Bye for now.